Hey guys, um, this is Simon from Soccer Training Central. Thought I'd just do a couple of videos here really on uh, tactical plays or set plays uh, that you might want to try. So uh, I just did one a second ago on, on, uh, on corners. This is another corner, something you might want to practice in training. So um, we're going to start from the same angle. So we've got a uh, corner being taken over here. Now you're probably familiar with a with a, a short corner, so we're going to have a uh, a player being right uh, close to the edge uh, here. Now, typically, what that means is you'll have a defender that sort of comes over to mark and watch that person, and you might have also another defender here who's also um, sort of marking the person who's taking the kicker. Now, um, over here, we've also similar with the last play, we've got a group of um, attacking players all sort of just off the edge of the box over here. Uh, and similarly as before, you've also got some defenders there, okay? Now, because it's a, um, a corner, there's also somebody who's marking the um, that back post there. Now, that's important because they're keeping everybody on side um, during this play. Uh, so if they, at any time they move off the line, then you're gonna have to watch out for offside. Um, but effectively, what we're what we're doing here is we're really trying to um, make the most of uh, this short play here. Now, it does require for this person here to have you know, great skills and being comfortable about working in, in a tight space. So, effectively, what's going to happen is the uh, person taking the kick, the corner, is going to pass to this person, which is going to draw this person in a bit um, towards them. Now, this uh, what's going to happen here is that this person's going to run out away from the goal over here uh, at the same time as one of these people here probably this one is also going to make a run okay now they're running into space um, over here probably to about here so this person's going to run in then they're going to kick the ball into space here which this person is running onto now whilst this is happen happening the uh, the two defenders are going to start following the ball so as soon as this person kicks the ball over this way you'll find this defender is going to be running that way and this runner is also going to be running. Now whilst that's happening, what she's done is she's abandoned this one at the back. So um, as she's running towards the ball, this one here is effectively running into space here. Um, so whilst this one uh, is running here, their goal is to kick the ball first touch into here to meet this person that's been running across and all of a sudden they are in space okay so depending on what where the angle of where you actually receive it you might be able to have a shot straight at goal or you can uh, carry on a, across and then have a shot at goal now in, a, in a, another video um, that I just recorded uh, recently we talked about framing the goal so whilst this is happening it's also important for these um, attackers to be running in this way okay so that if for any reason this attacker just gets either misses the shot or it comes off the pot, the post, or the keeper. They're on hand to also be able to uh, kick it in. So look, it's a little bit more complicated, but really effective, and it's all um, it really stems from this person over here having the uh, the skills and ability to be able to uh, you know um, and confidence to be able to work in a tight space. So receiving the ball in a tight space, being able to run over here and kick the ball, so it's about precision passing as well. This person running across in here that this person's been running onto and passing through. So that's a little play, but you know, things like this can be really effective because I think a lot of teams don't um, leverage the opportunity that comes from, uh, from corners. So it's something that you should is worthwhile practicing and training in your weekly training sessions. Hope that helps.